Ryan. Well, it's one of the first school districts in the Central Valley making the decision to return students to in-person learning five days a week full-time. Merced Union High School board voting to have seniors return on Monday, followed by everyone else on April 12th. Merced Union Deputy Superintendent Ralph Calderon is joining us live to talk about this decision. What stands out to me here is that full five-day-a-week schedule, a full school day. How did you guys make that you know, decision, how'd you come to that? Um, Carolyn, our board has been very, very, uh, very positive and, and uh, supportive. And, and they understand that uh, our kids get the best education when they're able to attend five days a week. So they took action on Wednesday night uh, to return all of our kids back and, and give them the very best that we have to offer. Well, it's the, the seniors are going to come back first on Monday full time because I understand they're on a hybrid schedule now, then followed by everyone else a little bit later. That's correct. Um, currently, uh, all of the students are on an A and B schedule where they come every other day to school, and uh, we don't want to waste any more time with our seniors. We want to give them that experience and get them back on campus as soon as possible. I love that you said you want to give them that experience because this is their last year in high school. They probably cannot wait to get, you know, back full time with their friends, at least I would think so. But if they want to, if they don't feel comfortable, can they still stay home and participate in remote learning? Yes, they can. Um, distance learning is still an option. We currently have uh, surveys out in the various school communities. And currently, we're trending about 60% wanting to come back full time five days a week, and then 40% continuing the rest of the rest of the year on distance learning. I want to get this question in: What about prom and what about graduation? Any talks about what's going to happen with those two very big, important events this year? Well, all of that depends on where we are. Um, our numbers continue to trend downward. And we're very hopeful. I've been talking to our activities directors about uh, providing our seniors and really the, the entire four, four, four years of, of classes with those typical high school experiences. We're, we're in the middle of football season now, and uh, each of the sites has a homecoming plan. It's going to be extremely pared down from the typical homecoming, but. Uh, we still are going to have a homecoming. We have been having discussions about prom. Um, you know, I don't know what it will look like. We're trying to delay it uh, into May as far back as possible to give us uh, the opportunity to work with our uh, Merced uh, Health Department and uh, see if we can't provide the kids with uh, a special experience. Um, yeah. as, far as, as far as graduation goes, Graduation right now with our current numbers is being planned in person. Um, it, it just will uh, depend on, the numbers will depend on uh, where we are with our COVID numbers. Well, I really love to hear that you guys are talking about these important events. I mean, you can like bedazzle a, a face mask to, to match your cap and gown or like your prom dress or tux, right? So hopefully it can be done safe, safely and they can still get those important events in because I know they would appreciate it. But we appreciate you waking up early with us, Deputy Superintendent Calderon. Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity.